team, you know, this whole season, and, you know, just to get a win, you know, keep the streak alive. You know. so, have you made a decision about the future for State? Not yet, not yet. I'm still talking over my family and some of my teammates, you know, still talking a lot. I still haven't came to all the conclusion yet, but, you know, it's coming soon. Coming soon. Durbin, how happy are you for – Coach Higgins is, could be 1-0 and for the rest of his life if he wanted to. Are you, are you, are you, you guys – that emotion that you guys showed towards Coach Higgins before the game, during the game, after the game, can you describe what he means to this team? Oh man, he means a lot to this team, man. You know, he's he's he, he, when he when when people say he really believes going to go, he really uh, believes going to go. You know, he always about the team. You know, never about himself. And you know, it was just great coming out here, just getting a win from him. And you know, ever since recruiting, you know, he recruited me ninth grade. You know, he's from my area, so you know, I'm very familiar with him. And, uh, he's always been always been there. Derwin, so. what was your initial reaction when Jimbo left? And how did you respond to it? Is it the motivation today? Oh, it was great. You know, he just he made a he made a uh, business decision. He had to do what he had to do. You know, he has a family. You know, he has he has to do. You can't be mad at him. You know, he still these last three years have been the best three years of my life. And you know, he really he he really gave it gave it all to me whatever I needed. And you know, he made me into a better man. What was the crowd atmosphere like for you this game tonight? Oh, it was great. It was great. Yeah, uh, you know, ever since we first walked out uh, for the coin toss, you know, they was loud, they were screaming. You know, this is great. No nation, man. I mean, what did it mean to you just say, here is that crowd, there's so much love to Odell, you know, every play, every time he's on screen? I can't explain that feeling because, you know, it's just on the field, on the field in the moment, you know, it's just it's just a feeling that you can't even, you know, put into words, sum up, sum, sum up into words. Duran, so. yeah. for how this week kind of went, how did you try to keep your focus as a team? Oh, just focus is on the main thing. You know, it's it's other discretion. It's always gonna be other discretion. But you know, as a team, you know, we made a commitment to each other. You know, we was gonna finish this thing, no matter how it started, no matter how it ended up. You know, we was gonna finish, and whatever it took to get to where, uh, to get to a bowl game, we was gonna do it. Darren O'Dell said words to the effect of six and sixteen, but ten, twenty years down the road, you guys are gonna look back on this and know that you learned a lot more uh, in going through this experience that's, that's going to help you, you know, is that something he has talked to you guys about or told you? Yeah. And Even him, him and Coach Fisher, you know, it's bigger than just football. You know, the, uh, the things we go through as a team, the things we go through as a program, you know, it's life lessons. And, you know, we learn we learn a lot from each other, you know, just being through each other when, when time's hard and, you know, just getting through it, when you're over, uh, able to overcome certain things, you know, it makes you strong as a person. Did Odell say anything to you guys before the game? Oh, basically, let's do it for ourselves. You know, just, um, do it, do it, do it. Come out here, do what we need to do, and you know, play for each other. Was it a little bit more fun out there today? I just feel like you guys were man, having fun a little bit more loose than than normal. Was man, it? Man, football's fun. As long as you play this game, it's fun. That's why we play. So you know, every game is fun. You know, every game. You know, we try to come out and you know make the most out of it. And you know, like you said, this this this, this, this is a blessing just to play this game. So it's fun. Every game is fun. Where's the deep? Season okay. starts. There's championship expectations, and Jimbo Fisher's the coach. And now here we are today, and you guys get to a bowl, but Jimbo's not here anymore. How would you describe? The way the season has gone for you guys. Oh man, it's just a roller coaster, man. You know, we, we went through a lot of adversity this year. You know, injuries, hurricanes, just different stuff. But it, you know, that's not no reason for excuses, no reason for you know the point of finger anymore. But you know, just being able to get through it, you know, getting his last home win to pull out these few wins late in the season um, to get to a ball game was just it, it was a great feeling. What would you say was the toughest part of this season? The toughest part. Oh, no. I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it, it was a lot of tough times, you know. But, uh, you know, of course, you know, as y'all can see, we went through a lot of tough times as a team. But you know, no, nobody quit it. Nobody kept. Everybody kept going. Everybody kept fighting. So. Darren, where's the far is it? In what way has a defense come the most or improved the most on in the past month? Uh, so basically getting more turnovers, getting the, getting the ball, uh, getting the ball to our offense, and you know, putting them in great uh, position to score. So you know, we was able to pull out a few more turnovers late in the year, and you know, it, it helps it helps us as a team. You know, when they, we're, we're able to get those turnovers, so it just helps us in the long run. Regardless of your decision on whether to stay here or, or that, are you going to play in the ball game? Man, I, I just got to you know, I'm just happy to be able to go to a bowl game, but you know, that decision coming and you know, we'll see. If, if this was your last game here, what's the lasting memory of this fan base playing in the stadium? Man, 
I just, man, I, I can't even explain the, the feeling, you know, just going out there, hearing them scream every game, you know, through the good and the bad, you know, it's just, you know, very excited feeling that I get every time I hear. Uh, are there any overcoming the adversity uh, on this team, do you think that speaks to the leaders on this team and being able to, to get everything together? Together? Not just the leaders, the coaches, and, you know, the, the, the GAs and, you know, the walk-ons, and it's just everybody behind the scenes just working, you know, trying to get us better as a team. And it's just more than just the leaders of the, it's everybody but as, a, as a Florida State University. Are there any more, uh, on the, as far as the defensive players go, is there anybody in particular that you, you know, you, you enjoy playing with and that you're, you're going to be wishing for success after the season? Man, all 22 guys, all 30, 30 guys, how do you know that on defense? I enjoy playing with all those guys, practicing with those guys, you know, so. Thanks, Jerwin. Thank you.